Today we're going to take a look at using the RFID Reno to log on your Windows computer. So you just take your RFID tag, swipe it, and your computer will log in. So we've got a kit for purchase that is everything you need. So you're going to get the RFID Reno shield and antenna. You're going to get your geeked Reno and your USB cable, and a couple of tags that you can use to log into your computer. Keep in mind that this is a completely open source project. So if you already have an RFID Reno or RFID Reno kit, you can do this demo. You can also bring your own UNO and just purchase the RFID Reno Shield, or you can even use this code as a basis for other credential login methods. There are two things I want you to keep in mind before you start this project, and the first one is that we've got a full guide not only for Windows RFID login, but also for using the RFID Reno on our website. We highly recommend you take a look at these guides just so you're sure that everything is set up and you're all ready to go. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is that this is a demo project, and all of your passwords are stored in plain text. So it's a really easy solution to get up and running, but if you're looking for something that's got you know, corporate level security, this probably isn't the place. You can definitely take the code and modify it for your own security needs, but right off the bat, it's a low level security system. The first thing we need to do is load the firmware onto our Geekduino or Arduino. It's a simple pass-through sketch that's gonna take data from your tag and move it over to your computer with a little bit of formatting. So if you've gone through the Getting Started Guides, you should be able to go to your Arduino folder, open up Libraries, and you'll see this RFI Arduino folder. And there you'll have an Examples folder and some RFI Arduino files. If you don't see this, then go ahead and go back to the RFI Arduino Getting Started Guide, and you'll find out where you can download these files and where exactly to put them. The sketch itself is under File, Examples, RFI Arduino, RFI Arduino Windows Unlock. And it's really important to make sure you've got the right line for your hardware. So in this case, I'm using the 1.2 hardware. So I've got this line uncommented. If I was using the 1.1 hardware, the older version, I would uncomment that line. I've already got my board and my serial port set up from my getting started guide. So I can go ahead and upload this. It's going to compile the sketch and start uploading. Once everything is uploaded, I can put my shield on. If I swipe my tag, the green light on the RFI Arduino will come on. If I open up my serial port, I'll see the data from the tag. And I'm going to highlight this tag data and do Control C to copy it because I'm going to use it later. So in the Getting Started Guide, we also have a link to the RFI Arduino Windows Login folder. And here you're going to see a 32-bit and a 64-bit folder. So if you need to make sure what your what operating system you're using, just right-click on Computer and go to Properties. And under System Type, you'll see 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. So I'm on a 64-bit system. I'll open up my 64-bit folder. This RFID credential provider.dll is the executable that's going to do all the work. So you need to set your settings in RFID credentials and RFID cred settings. Open up cred settings in Notepad or a text editor, and the only thing you'll need to change is this first line, com equals. Over on the RFID Arduino, we're using COM37 to program the Geek Arduino, which is the port that we're going to use here. So change this to 37. Save this, then go to RFID Credentials. So this is where you're going to put your information for your username, your tag, and your password. So right here, I'm going to copy the numbers, values that I had from my original file here in the Arduino. For this user, I'm going to use whatever my username is. So Kyle, if my username is just a short Kyle, I can do Kyle at gmail.com. If I'm using a newer version of Windows, sometimes I'll have you use an email. If you're on a domain, you'll just put in your domain name, backslash, and then your username. And then finally, you're going to have your password. So I can just have password here, um, 
whatever your password is. Now you can have multiple lines, so if you have other tags, you can copy this line and change this tag data. But keep in mind, you can only have one set of tag data per line. One tag can only do one login item. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, save this file, and all, everything is set up setting-wise. So now you're going to open up your System32 folder. It's going to be in your C drive, Windows, System32. And all you would do is go ahead and copy these into your System32 folder. I've already got some files in here that use my specific card and my specific login information, but for you, just go ahead and drag these in, and if you get any messages about needing to be an administrator, just go ahead and authenticate for that. Once you've got everything copied over, go back to your root folder here, and double-click Register. And go ahead and Run, Yes, and OK. This is going to update your registry so that that DLL file that we put in the System32 folder gets activated. If you want to remove the software later, double-click Unregister, and then delete the three files from your System32 folder. So now we can shut down, restart, or lock our computer. If you lock, you might have to click this Other Credentials button to get back to this main screen. And just swipe your tag, and you're back in. If you want, you can use some double-sided tape or some duct tape and then attach your Geekduino and your antenna on the underside of your desk. Now you can unlock your computer just by swiping over your desk. We want to thank Amal Grafstra, who originally wrote this software for the RFID Experimenters Kit, and also Eric Jostrom, who helped us with some of the code stuff for the newer version. Make sure to keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for more RFID projects as well as all of our other Geekduino and Robot Geek projects.